What's up guys, welcome back. So we checked out Cronenberg's 1664 Blanc and this week we are checking out their 1664 Rosé. So I've checked out the Cronenberg 1664 Blanc, which you can check out right up there. This is their rosé. So this one, they use a hint of red berries in there. They did brew the 1664 Blanc with citrus and I think coriander. They still add the coriander in this one, but they add more red berries. They say raspberries and they also say red berries. So there might be more berries in there than just raspberries. So let's give it a try. Definitely like fresh raspberries, a little bit of floral notes in there as well on the nose. That's really good. It's like a raspberry flavored Hefeweizen. Very light and refreshing. It has those citrus notes. It has a little bit of kind of the orange flavor of a Hefeweizen, but that orange mixes with raspberry super strong. So very good. There might be like some strawberry, maybe some strawberry, maybe a little touch of blueberry or blackberry in there as well. It's still really light bodied because I feel like blueberry and blackberry are a little bit heavier and darker flavors, but this one is definitely very light. Little bit of wheat notes that come in, little bit of citrus notes as well. Really nice mouth feel. It's still really crisp, but it doesn't sharp crisp. It's very kind of smooth, like a half of Eisen is. A good price point. So I got this one in Malaysia. I haven't seen it in Vietnam where I am right now, but I got this one in Malaysia for, it was about 10 ringgit, which is right around $2. So kind of similar to US prices for the Cronenberg 1664 Blanc. Leave me a comment down below if you can get it in the US. I would imagine you could, because I'm pretty sure Cronenberg is pretty big. Yeah, leave me a comment and let me know if you can get it in the US. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.